Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor. You know me, Dr. Gregory Johnson in Houston, Texas, and we have our dear friend Michelle Quadlebaum in here today. He's a dear friend of Renee and I for years, and uh, she has a very special uh, fundraising cause that she's passionate about that we're going to let her talk about today. And we will leave a link in the description box to the area where you can actually donate to the cause. Tell them what the cause is, Michelle, why you're so passionate about it. Okay, and I'm, thank you so much. I was, Dr. Johnson's an amazing friend, but you know, I started my sentence out the other day. I had lunch with him and I said, you know, can you help me? He said, anything you want, we'll do. Yeah. And so he knows, especially because we're Facebook friends, <laughs> that I'm pretty passionate about animals. I live, I'm an attorney here in Houston, yeah. but I grew up in an amazing place to grow up in Helena, Arkansas. Unfortunately, through the years after I graduated and moved to Houston, economy has gone down tremendously. Crime, drugs, you know, the Delta. But the problem that is, and I stay active with my friends in Arkansas, even though I live here in Houston, with the animal situation. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're one of the unique, I think the South has an animal population issue itself, but in our community, the, uh, mm -hmm. the city government refuses to cooperate any with animal control. About, oh gosh, 20 years ago, or about, um, the then mayor, I guess it was less than 20, but you talking then, about Houston now? Or no, I'm in, in, I'm in Helena, Arkansas. Okay. And so the then mayor, actually, because he was getting criticisms about the quality of animal control, he just boxed, he put all the dogs in a van and drove them out to the uh, forest and let them go. He, no, he, let, he actually, he let the dogs out. In a while. He is now the, uh, not the, he's kind of the assistant mayor, the, um, you know, the helper okay, of the current mayor. Okay, the board for not how to treat dogs. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But it's the, they refuse. The host city council votes no animal control in that count, in that city. They have, they do not contribute one dollar to the animal control currently. They have over the years not, they did for a brief time recently and then they stopped. So soon it's going to be another crisis situation where there's going to be more four-legged animals than two-legged animals in the town. We have tried. So at last September... So what is the name of this organization, uh, by the way? That's it. Last September, uh, some friends and I started Friends of the Delta Dog. And we are friends of the dog, but we are also friends of the kitty cats, too. So, yeah. <laughs> But what we are, it's a, a 501... Uh, C3, non-profit, 100% volunteers. We and deductible for people making donations. Tax deductible yep. and all. So what we've done without any, we finally agreed if for a short period of time, the city was going, going to have some animal control, but then they decided no. So we sat down and thought, what is the best way we can do? You can try to adopt out and foster out. It's a massive job you have because Personally, I fostered one dog, got her on Sunday. On Monday, I had 12 dogs because she had a litter of 11 puppies. Oh, wow. And, you know, it takes you two or three months to adopt those out. So it is an enormous problem. So what we've decided is we have to do an aggressive spay and neuter program. Uh, we're going to try to start a little slow in April. We have and that's to keep it from making so many baby kitties and baby doggies. Yes, right. Because not only are we have street dogs and cats, mm -hmm. we right. have probably we've calculated anywhere from three hundred to a thousand feral cats that just live on the streets, mm -hmm. and then we can't figure out yet how many dogs there are that live on the streets. But just in homes that mm -hmm. they're pets. In an economy such as we have in the Delta in Arkansas, there are, um, it's like 85% of the dogs are not spay and neutered. And for, okay, so for instance, if I spay, or okay, now spay and neuter for the difference. Right. Spay is for a female, right. and you neuter a dog, you know. And that's for cats and dogs. Cats and dogs, yeah. it's called spay or neuter, so it depends if it's a boy or right. girl. But, on a cat, say for instance, because they can have like three litters a year. If you um, neuter or spay one cat, but okay, that cat has three litters, those three litters have three litters, and it is close to, I broke the number down, 
370,000 offsprings that you could stop with the first spay and neuter. Yeah. And it's a large, with dogs, it's down because you can't have as many puppies as you can kitty cats a year. So, but it's like 67,000 dogs from them, their offsprings, you know, it's extrapolation, more math than lawyers know. Yeah. But anyway, we are starting slowly and uh, with the spay and neuter program with some cats. And that's really to improve the quality of the community and the animal community, right? Not it's, just the animal community, but the human community. Oh, well, as well, you end up with- Because it becomes with, a burden on everybody. Well, it becomes, you also have gangs oh. of dogs that roam and yeah. can hurt your your pets your pets or your kids or yeah. whomever yeah. also Good point the economy in the town can't improve with so many public problems yes public money. and so um i'm very disappointed with city government mm -hmm. and they know it and i probably shouldn't discourage it but they will not well, maybe at all people doing something about will bring your attention more to it than they start paying attention to we it. hope so but it costs money and there yeah. there we have to bring in vans we have to bring in veterinarians because we only have one in the area and he can only volunteer so much yeah. and so well, you can't pay for everything or I wouldn't want to. No, it, yeah. I do. Yeah, you already do. I know, I that's why I said This is to really help Michelle's bank account out, uh, too. No, but uh, <laughs> we're all volunteers, and it's a very small group of us. Yeah. But it's uh, we are passionate because we want to see. It's my hometown. Mm -hmm. I don't live there. It's my hometown. I hate to see this going on. And my friends that live there, you know, they're passionate about it. And But we need help. And that's why you know, I bless you for letting me. He, Dr. Johnson has a good audience. He is, you know, a good team ring dinger. I have a nice set of team ring dinger, yeah. by the way. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, so what I would add, I mean, even if it were $10 yeah. a piece, uh, yeah. it co it'll cost us about $100 an animal and by the time you get shots. And monthly too, right, on this link? Absolutely. I have a PayPal, a, a Venmo, and then there's this thing called Zephy, and they give you 100% of your money. Oh, wow. You know, all They'll the other the links. Fees. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they will give us, because we're a nonprofit, right. it's all tax deductible. For a good cause. And I would love to have y'all as friends on Facebook, too, and I'll put that. What's the name of your Facebook page? You it will be. It'll, I'll put the link, but the Friends of the Delta Dog, and that's D-A-W-G, because we're Southerners, so it's dog. And, uh, <laughs> Remember, that's for all those horned dog and horned cats that are up there in Arkansas. Yes. <laughs> we're going to take care of that, uh, that, that desire. Uh, You've been but, sitting on that one. You know. You get it, me, though. You know, it's really sad. I look at, I have a picture that um, my, uh, of my foster dog that was, she's, she's now a member of our family, but she had, it was her, and then the sea of black puppies, and you know, she is, that is no, that's Lucy. Oh, and so, okay. But no, Jay was born under my gazebo from a stray dog. Oh, okay. And so, but um, anyway, but she's a, you know, you love these puppies. They're so wonderful. They provide love for your families. But you when you're out of control, it's not. You can't have one much. and have twelve the next day. However, if any of you have an opening in your heart in your home that you would like a new dog, we can we can we can fill that you need too. too. <laughs> we can do that. But thank you. Yeah, and oh, yeah. no uh, and so Dr. Johnson is going to do his magic and put our post. But please put links you, on there to donate and go to their Facebook page and mm -hmm. be their, become their friends and support them. I mean that's really what we want to do. Michelle's passionate about this. Uh, we're, you know, we're committed to making sure that she gets what she needs to do to help this community out and, and help the dogs and cats of that community. Yeah, could be so horny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But um, and you know, and we're not asking for a lot, but. You know, you think about how much I spend for lunch every day, sometimes mm -hmm. too much, but, um, <laughs> you know, things like that. But we really appreciate it, and um, thank you very much. Well, thanks for coming in and explaining that to everybody, because I wouldn't have been able to do near as good a job as you. Well, I, okay. Well, good. thank you. I, I am just thrilled to be in the ring dinger place. If you're a chiropractor watching this, Dr. Uh, Michelle also does postgraduate education courses for Texas relicensing. Oh yeah, we do licensing credits. You do so. HIPAA and, and Medicare and what else? 
sports. The ethics and risk. Ethics and risk classes, yeah. which are mandatory by the Texas board, right? Yes. Yeah. And she's been doing that for how many years now? Well, I was two when I started, oh, so okay. it's, it's okay, been good. forty something years. But yeah. yes, she's okay. good at it too. In <laughs> fact, we went on a cruise last year with her over to Venice, Italy, and up and down the Greek islands, and she spoke at the seminar on the cruise ship, which was great. So she's really good at what she does. She's a dear friend of ours, and and we really would appreciate you supporting her cause and helping her and her friends out up there in Arkansas. And thank y'all very much. And like I said, if yep. you need a dog, I can hook you up there too. You need a ring deer, you come here. We're not going to new deer or spade you. We'll just <laughs> do a ring deer on you. Okay. Thank you. Thank y'all very much.